while Jerry's getting set up, I will slip um, URLs into the chat um, as he goes through it. So it'll be kind of in order and then you can just download the chat and you'll have them. Great, thank, thank you, Maria. All right, so, um, so here's the homepage of Merlot. And, um, and I'll, I'll just kind of give you just a little bit of background around it. So um, Merlot um, became live in 1997. So this really was when the, the initiation of um, more extensive uh, use of the internet in education and, and, and its purpose started in the California State University. We have 23 campuses right now, and we serve a half a million students. And, and the issue what back then was um, people are developing this technology, but no one was no, no one knew what everyone else was doing. So you had redundancy, duplication, inefficiencies. So that's when, as a whole system, we decided to create this library of multimedia educational resources for learning and online teaching. And, um, and as a higher education institution, we realized that, well, how is this going to happen? Um, how do we actually um, create libraries? And rather than saying, well, let's just have librarians do it, when it comes to instructional materials, you say, who knows best about quality instructional materials? Well, those are the faculty members. So that's when we really, what's fundamental about how Merlot works is that the materials in the collection are really materials that have been contributed by its community members. So, um, so what, what I'm gonna, again, first I'll just go through a little bit so you can see what's in the home page a little bit. You know, this is your traditional search box and you can go find stuff there, put in your keywords. Uh, there's over you know, almost 100,000 materials in Merlot. Um, Merlot is an open community, and this is one thing that I, I know anyone who wants to participate in contributing into the material, they have to register as a member. It's free to do, and it's pretty easy, and I can you know, kind of walk you through that too as well. And, and it's associated, all the members are often are part of institutions around the world of over 4,000. And just so you know, as an active community, um, just in the last 30 days, over 853 materials, people, comments, et cetera, have been added in, into the Merlot Library. So we have a community of people who are um, very active in various ways. Um, we also organize by um, academic disciplines. Um, so, so these are some of the things um, that libraries we try to do is people have, I'll say, um, uh, uh, focused interest, right? And so if you do have a focused interest, um, we, we organize by various disciplines. So if I'm in computer science or health sciences, uh, math, um, physics, right? So, so we, we can create little portals around those specific interest areas. So just to give you a, a sense of Merlot is not just one big massive library, it really is how do you create different um, windows into a collection of materials. And, uh, and some of those I think are not just about academic disciplines, but we also highlight other aspects, whether it's about that cross disciplines, faculty development or ICT literacy. Um, one that's often in, you know, our STEM majors, uh, STEM faculty really interested in is, you know, especially when COVID hit is, how can I find virtual labs to help me teach things, right? So what I'm just giving you a sense here is, and, and what's important for the, for the lead bio program is, um, is that we can we will create this a website that will be your window to bring everyone who has a focus on uh, diversity, equity, inclusiveness, and professional organizations to their section of the library. 
And, uh, and this is, I think, a very important um, aspect about how Merlot works is by understanding uh, a community's need and then um, uh, customize those services for that community. And then finally, just, just so you know where um, uh, we have people, members around the world, you know, you can just roll over, um, you know, the states and you say, okay, we have 91,000 in the US, um, we have 1,200 in Brazil, 7,000 in Chile, we go into Africa, um, we, we've been, we have uh, colleagues in Senegal that, that we're working with, um, Ethiopia, Kenya, and then you say, oh, who, you know, who, who is in Kenya, right? And then here are the 211 um, members in Merlot who, are, um, who, are, who have I, affiliated with uh, a, an institution in Kenya. So, so just to give you a little sense of the, the membership are literally all around the world. And, um, and when we think about our disciplines, we have people all around the world teaching disciplines um, in, in various ways. So just wanted to give you a little flavor of, um, of the community and the way we focus in on uh, different um, uh, disciplinary needs as well as um, uh, pedagogical needs too as well. And, uh, and we have various tools that, that I can cover later. One of them is called Content Builder, and that's what we're gonna use to create your uh, portal. And, and, uh, and I think Ashanti and, and Veronica um, you know, can already um, uh, look at how you can build this. And it's pretty easy. Um, I'm a psychologist by training, just so you know, and it's, um, and it's, it's easy, even easy for me to use, all right? It's like creating a website with the Word document there. So, so the, so that's just, I wanted to give you a little bit a sense of the um, uh, kind of how, how Merlot, a little bit of history about it and how it, how it uh, lays out. And I'll just, before I stop and ask questions, see if you have questions, I'm just, I just typed in DNA as an example, if I'm looking for instructional content, the first thing to know is that you can, uh, find different ways to sort materials. And, and if you want to look at um, how materials are uh, sorted, I'll call it by a quality rating where we have editorial boards, people write comments. So you can reach sort things for, you know, thing, you know so you get the best of the materials at, at the top. And, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because this can be an important role that your community plays is when you add materials into the library, when the lead bio um, can add kind of comments and reviews, it helps those materials float up to the top so people can find them more frequently. And, um, and so you can see here, I'm showing you materials. So DNA from the beginning, it's got peer reviews, it has user ratings, things along those lines. And, um, and you can um, search for materials. And again, th this is, you know, uh, and what it, there's uh, 765 materials that, that, that you have here. And, and the other aspect, as we go through, there are many different types of materials, animations, case studies. Um, you can even have, uh, you know, materials for a, a course, an online course, um, a textbook, presentations, tutorials, workshop training materials. So what you're collecting for your lead bio project can have a number of different formats that can then serve different purposes. So yes, Veronica. Could we click through uh, the different bins and get to the lead bio uh, space? Um, or where it would be, it might not be populated yet, but I think it might help us develop an idea of where our stuff will be, thanks. Correct, no, no problem. So, so just seeing where everything is, and so now what, what I, can, I can show you, so, and, and here um, in, in, um, in Merlot, 
and and maybe what I'll I'll start off is how does all this stuff so I and I can show you how it gets in there. So let's say in Merlot you want to now start adding materials into the lead bio uh, collection here, and and one of the things I, uh, that that I've done is I, I just grabbed. Uh, so if you have a website that you would like to add, you can just add it to um, the URL there, or you can upload a file. And and one of the things that I've, I've done is I've um, I, I looked at um, I just grabbed an example of a um, and so now I'm going through um, you know my, my my files here and and I and so let's say some organization um, um, created a document a policy document for how do you elect officers and to ensure you had an inclusive process. Um, and, and so there's a document there. So I, I found this Achieving Diversity in uh, Organizations uh, by, uh, by a forum. You say, you know what? I want to add this to the collection that, that I have here. I said, okay, mm, I like this one. I want to add that. So I want to then upload the file just to show you how this works. And then I can just put a title in here. You type it in. Achieving diversity, and 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 you can put you know wh whatever you'd like here. You can see that it's just filling it in, and now here, um, um, Veronica, this is where I'm going to show you where where is are all your materials organized. So this is when you have a discipline. This is the library, and if you think about a physical library. You can think of each one of these categories as like a floor in a eight story library. So your work is in academic support services. So when you're looking at academic support services, that's a whole range of materials, different type of topics. And within academic support services, you see diversity, equity, and inclusiveness. Right. You can also see there's faculty development, accreditation issues. So you can see these topics go across a variety of disciplines. And so then I can say, oh, I want to add this into the diversity, equity, and inclusiveness. All right. Now, so now I've gone, I'm going to put it on the first floor. And now diversity, equity, inclusiveness is like, you know, one of the rows in the stacks that I have. But Maybe now I want to decide where, what actually shelf I want to put it in. And so now here we go. Oh, here is we're working about in diversity, equity, inclusiveness in professional organizations. So think of that as now that's the kind of the section of the shelves that, that you're in. So I can click on that. And notice again, there's still other sub disciplines. And this is where your specific um category so so we went into merlot and said okay we have to build the shelves for your digital resources in diversity equity inclusiveness and in professional organizations and here's the shelf on community standards and recommendations research coordination network development professional development and training and thought leadership papers and so i might say well this article is probably a thought leadership paper. So I can click on that. And so now hopefully, and I'll stop here just to see, can you see how if you have materials, you can then become in a sense, the librarian cataloging it and deciding where you want to put this material in the broad library. Yes. And so uh, anybody that uses Merlot could potentially add um, materials into our lead bio if they know where to click and all of that. Would that be the case? Looks like oh, Jerry. I think Jerry might be frozen. Correct. Yeah. That's correct. You can do oh, add. Our... Oh, am I back? Yes. You okay. froze. Yeah, but now you're back. <laughs> okay. All right. So so now the, what now what the lead bio community remember I showed you how you can reorder materials based on their 
overall rating or what the editorial boards, you as a community can then go through the collection and you can curate those things. You can say, you know what, these are the really good ones that we want to recommend. You can write comments, you can write reviews, et cetera. And if you find too, that there's materials that was that were put in there that are inappropriate, you as a community can also, um, you know, basically they, we call it deselect or delete those materials from the, from that collection too as well. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. And 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 um, this is one of the things that we can help you with too as well, is when you when you are managing a collection, you need to have a rubric, an evaluation set of criteria to say what's good what belongs and what doesn't belong. And, uh, and we have some general policies that we've developed in Merlot over, over time. And again, we have 25 other editorial boards that have been curating their collections for many years. So a lot of that process and history um, you can take advantage of, okay? Quick question, Jerry. So who uses the rubric? Us to review and make sure that our whatever our products are meets um, your guidance or you review our products using that rubric to make sure that it's in compliance? Uh, so you are the people who manage your own and curate your own collection. What Merlot provides, we provide the call it, you know, the technical infrastructure for you to, um, to build your collection, right? Um, okay. So we're not the gatekeepers. And, and, and here, so th this is often the way that we recommend um, communities working is when you develop the, these rubrics, right? That, and a critical element is how do you share that rubric with all the members of the community so they understand the guidelines that you are using to um, build that collection that's um, of high quality. So, so the process of developing your guidelines, your rubrics, and then sharing that with your community members so they can, if they are developing materials, they can follow the rubric and develop materials to those criteria or if there's already existing materials, then they can um, you know, evaluate whether the existing materials meet up with the rubric, right? And, um, and then what you can then do is um, when you contribute the materials, you can also add comments to say, this uh, material you know, uh, meets the lead bio quality standard and so then when a, someone comes in to look for things, they can see that this is a lead bio approved resource. And they say, oh, I, I, I'm gonna trust this and, and, and I can feel confident in using it. Okay, was that helpful there? Yes, thank you. You're, you're welcome. All right, so, um, so, so the next process, um, and, and again, just to remind you, you can upload a document, a PDF, Word, Excel, um, PowerPoint, um, or just point to a URL. You have control over how you want to title it. And this section here, uh, again, I'm, uh, I'm not going to go into detail around these, but the, your writing up of the description becomes a very important element here. And, um, and so this is where, when you write up what's in the content of the resource, um, you can emphasize what's the, the purpose behind it. It might be also say, this is a, um, a reference paper that outlines policy uh, standards that professional societies may want to adopt, whatever it might be. So, so and, and we have some guidelines to help you write the best descriptions for users deciding whether they want to explore this material some more. You have, um, you can add in keywords, 
um, in images. Um, we, we provide some standard type images um, so that they're little thumbnails or you can upload your own. So, so this is where if you have people in um, as part of the lead bio group, they you can in a sense tag your materials with the lead bio image, and and all you can do is you know upload that image. Um, everyone can use it, and so then all the lead bio materials will have that image with it. Okay, so so I'm trying to show you ways that that your community has the tools to help identify your recommended materials as much as possible. Um, then you can say what type of material it is. So uh, the re reference, the material that, that, that I put up was probably a reference material. I'm just, give, just showing you an example. And I can say uh, this might, the audiences might be good for professional, graduate school, and maybe someone who's teaching upper division where they're trying to get students involved with research. Again, I'm just giving you examples. Um, we have uh, Merlot is written in a technical language called UTF-8. So um, we basically can accept languages in any format, any that meet an ISO standard. So um, if you want it in, um, you know, Spanish, right? You can put it in Spanish. You can put it in, in any language you want, okay? Just, just so you know, you have that capability there. So here's all the languages that, 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 that we have here. Um, then you also, next thing you do is you write, okay, who's authoring this material? So in this case, it was an association publish and I can just put uh, as much information that I have about that, about the author. I can say, you know, this is a PDF that I uploaded. And usually there's not any technical requirements for um, uh, uploading, a, for using a PDF. Um, you might even have mobile apps. That could be a particular application. And then, um, and then here's other information about, and we're coming to the end of contributing. And you can say, um, if it's um, source, if it's uh, software code, is the is it open source? Yes or no? Is there any cost? And I'd say no. Um, here, this is just a PDF, and it's not open source. The other thing is around accessibility. Um, just so you know, I was the um, person responsible for the accessible technology initiative and the Cal State system. So some of the things you wanna look at is, it, are the materials um, available for students with disabilities as well? And so you can say, um, is this an accessible PDF? And that's where you have to go back and look at these things. Is there any information available? And you can say yes or no. And then it can say, does it have a Creative Commons license on it? And, um, and, you know, and, and that's where you as the person who's, if you're creating it, you put a Creative Commons license on it, or you can say, you can look at the materials and say, is it, does it just say copyright or does it, um, or it doesn't have a Creative Commons license. And so you can check the buttons, right? What, whatever they are, and then you submit the material. So, so just filling out a form is what, what I just wanted to show you is um, this is how the lead bio community can build that collection that's within Merlot. And, uh, and, and what I'll, what, what, before I go to show you, I, so I put two materials in the collection already so you can see just an example. But any question about how you um, add materials into the collection and how you can make sure you can uh, identify it as a lead bio contribution. I think for me, it's uh, very humbly when I think about 
um, the perspective of what we've done, you know, like through our project, we've essentially added like additional categories under this professional organizations and DEI. And I think that's really cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I thought I would share that. Thanks. So thank you for your help. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. And, and one of the things um, that, uh, you know, let's say you start building materials and, and you might say, oh, there's another category that we want to add stuff to, right? And whatever it might be, right? And um, so you just let me know. Um, I'm the master librarian in the, and so I can, as you can see right on my screen is, I can find, uh, oh, and, 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 um, uh, and, and it's possible for me to add other materials that in, in fact, you can cross reference materials. Let's say, and, and let, let, let me get, give you this example. Let's say the article I put up was about biology, right? And so I can say, yes, this is about DEI, but maybe I also want to put this um, as part of, um, uh, so the biology community knows about it and they might want to find it. And so here now I'm, I'm adding biology, and then it might be something specific about, um, you know, uh, an organization in botany, right? So, so then I, I can then catalog that that material in my specific area of diversity, equity, inclusiveness, and professional organizations. But then I can also have it show up in in other in other disciplines where, where they might, in a sense, bump into it. Okay. So what, was that helpful? Yes, very much. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, so now, um, so I showed you um, how to add material. So, so here, if you want to add materials, you again just click on this button. Now, what one of the things that's going to be important for you to anyone to add material, you have to become a member in Merlot. All right. So, um, uh, before I show you that, I'm just going to show. You, let's let's go back to the home page, and I'll say, all right, let me now browse through materials here just to show you where the layout all is. So when I, um, and let, let me increase the size of this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. All right. So um, in Merlot, again, think of it like a multi-story library and we're in academic support services and you wanna just browse the you know the library so i can click on academic support services there's um almost 9000 materials in that general category and then as i scroll down i can go down to diversity equity and inclusiveness and i can click on that category so i've gone to the first floor and now i want to go to this particular shelf and now so now there's 522 materials in the general area of diversity, equity, inclusiveness. And just so you know, you can see right up the top here, see this, they call it the breadcrumb. So it's, this is like telling you, I started at all materials, now I've gone to academic support, and now I'm down the shelf of um, diversity, equity, inclusiveness. And then here are all the other categories, right? So we have, um, you know, people, you know, DI has been important in education, in technology, in the workplace. There's some policies out there. And so here's your, your, your section of your shelf in professional organizations. So, so I put in two materials. These are just examples here, just to illustrate it. And then, so here are the two materials. And one of them, is in community standards and recommendations. So one of them is in the general topic area of professional organizations, and the other one is in a particular area. So if I just want to see which one is in that, so here's here's that one. So what I what I just try to 
walk you through is um, that if someone is browsing through the library, here we have DEI in professional organizations. So this is your section there. Okay. All right, and um, any questions about just walking you through that process? It's very straightforward, but can you, if you, if I went, I just went to search and typed, um, what is it, the one before, in professional societies, can it bring me here or I have to go through all the steps? Uh -huh. Okay, so, so, um, there are different um, ways that you can do it. So if you typed in, all right, let me just put a plus sign in here just so. All right, so, so here's, see the thing is professional societies, you can see covers a lot of different topic areas where in you know epidemiology and healthcare and things along those lines now if you just so so those are in the disciplines so then if you say oh i typed in professional societies then if i just clicked on oh i only want the ones in my discipline all right then you have a chance to to getting to um Diversity, equity, inclusiveness, and it, it can you know narrow narrow things down for you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. But thank you. but I, here what 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 I think would serve your interests best, okay, is and and let, let me just uh, show you is instead of having say let me just say to contribute your materials into Merlot, you got to go through the Merlot, um, you, you go to the Merlot website here and, and, you, and you go to add materials and you have to go through the process. But if you wanna make it easy for people to find your materials, right? Going to the big library is a way that they can get lost, right? So this is where what we can help you do is create a portal right a, a, a community and and here i'll just show you this example of here we have 80 academic partners who create their own particular websites for their interest areas so if you want um about um employment equity women in sustainable employment here's here's that one um, what what I'm going to show you, um, just just to to get and and so you can see each one has their own branding. Here we're working with a lot of HBCUs, so so they have their own branded in, institutions. And what what I'm I'm going to show you one example here of um, that that uh, you know could could be helpful. Um, I, I'll just call it at, to to um, to, to illustrate, um, let me just let me just think. Well, maybe I'll I'll, I'll choose um, I'll choose one of these. I'll just I'll just choose Bethune Cookman. So here's a website, um, Bethune Cookman, um, and and this helps them go through their what they specifically wanted. They wanted just um, to help them move online. Here's teaching resources. And then they just identified the specific things that, that, that they wanted. And uh, they said they wanted something about virtual labs. So instead of kind of finding out where virtual labs is, people just click on that and go to it. So, so that's one example of how we can create the lead bio portal. You can put your logo here. We you know, can retype all this other stuff here. And I'll just show you another example. Um, we've done something with, um, let me just see where it is. Let me just try to remember. Um, oh, here we go. Hey, Jerry. Um, Jerry, yep. I'm sorry to interrupt you. 
it, it looks like Veronica has uh, put the the URL for their um, their content builder. Oh, I great. started a draft, but of course I'm not done with it, so I haven't published it. So I don't know if people will be yeah, able I'm, to access. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I can't get into it because it's not published yet. But maybe right. when Carrie at some point, you can just pass it over and let her show it off. Oh, okay, great. Here, uh, all right. Let, let, let me show you one, and then I'll pass it over. So here's another example of um, we're working in India with uh, people looking at cancer education. And so uh, what I'm showing you here is, so here are what, what they said is, let me take the materials that are like three or four levels down in the Merlot taxonomy, and they put it right on the home page. So if I want to know about uh, cancer in the elderly or cancer diagnosis, I just click on that and here are the materials that pop right up. So I think, um, I forget who, who asked the question about how do you have to go down? Do you have to go down through these steps all the way? By having your own portal, you can kind of get down to your stuff right away. And so what I'll, what I'll do now is, um, Veronica, I'll stop sharing so then you can share what your, um, the template that, that you started making. So, so Sharisa, what was that helpful? Just to, because I, I think you asked the question about how do you get down to the stuff that you really want. That was mercy. But oh, yeah. that was mercy. Okay. Yeah, it was helpful. Okay. Thank you. So then, let me see. I can. Here you go. So I think you can see my screen now, and so I'm logged into my. Merlot account and so I can I have a profile and I also have access to my content builder and this is essentially the draft that I had um, started for our project um, I'll just have to finish it but I just wanted to show you what it looks like and I think unless I publish it you all can't see it yet, or it's not available for the public, but uh, it's really easy to use. Everything I can essentially click and change the text. I can change the logo, the text, um, have sections, remove them. Uh, it's very uh, plug and play, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. Right. And, and, and this is terrific. I, I think you're showing how you know, you can brand it. So, you know, that that logo that you have there, that that can be connected with all the materials in your collection if you want, right? Mm -hmm. So that's when someone sees that little thumbnail, that image, they say, oh, that's, uh, you know, the lead bio, you know, funded project, and that means it's good stuff, right? And, um, and then in your website there, we can put you know, um, explore the lead bio collection, diversity, equity, inclusiveness in professional societies. And then you, we can put the links to those four categories. And so Mercy, that, then you just click on a button and you go right to the stuff right away. Yeah, all right. So uh, maybe one of the things that I can do is finish up the design for discussion in our next meeting and then people can suggest edits and all of that. Uh, it, Jerry, is there a way to give like a subset of members access to my content builder so that they can, if they want it in their own time, navigate here and see what I've done so far, or it would have yeah. to be kind of like me sharing out like this. All right. No, no, you can. So um, here we go. Exit this. Okay. Right. All right. And all right. And now, um, now on your site, right? Where see those three dots at the bottom there? Yes. Click on those three dots, right? And so, if you do collaboration, uh. right? So this is where you can type in people's names. All right. Now they have to be Merlot members. So mm -hmm. uh, Mercy and Charisse, you know, Charisse, you, you, you have to be a Merlot member. And then Veronica can say, you can help 
edit this at the same time. So that's one thing that to do, right? And, and the other thing you can do too is, so if you go back to the three dots, right? So you can- oh, Send that copy. You can send a copy, then they can create their own version, right? So in all your professional, you know, you're a consortium of professional societies, what they can do at, at some point is if they want to create their own version of it, they can do that. Or if you hit duplicate, right? Let's say you wanna create a new version and you want everyone to, um, so, so they, it made a copy and then people can play around on that. And then, then you can just use that to copy the good stuff that you want into the, into the live one. So, so there's lots of options um, that you have in how to share working. I, I, I use the collaborate a lot when, when you want, you know, people will say, oh, I'll take care of this section. I'll take care of that section. And then they just add it into the website. Mm -hmm. If as I'm finishing up the design and people suggest um, revisions and we incorporate those, if we hit like a sticky point, can we email you for help with that as we link, uh, add links to sure the library? Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, a couple of little tips that I've I learned along the way is that you if Jerry mentioned that you need to exit out of the site when you're done with it. If you don't exit out of the site, others cannot get into it. They can't access it to, to edit oh. it. So um, don't let that hang you up, okay? So right now I'm exited of both because I haven't clicked on any of them. Correct. Right. And <laughs> one more, um, when you are linking to another page, you can do so by opening the view and then you uh, copy that URL from the page to be able to reference it in another page in your website. Don't go to the preview to do that. You go to the view site to do that, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. so when you get to that point, if you start to stumble a bit, just holler and we'll walk you through that part again, okay? I just want you to be aware so you don't frustrate over it. Okay, and then uh, this view essentially opens up the site on a new tab and this is essentially the address of the um, correct site for a visitor Got it. yes and you can change that url you know buy another url at some point when you're ready if you decide you want to do that and it'll still point to the Mer merlot category got it got it right thank you right. i think and that's all i have to share anything else that i can click on or anything you all want to um, well, here, one of the things um, what, 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 while you're here, um, Veronica, if you, um, well, I'll say one of the things that Merlot also has that individuals can create their own bookshelves, right? That if you want to find materials um, that you want to organize, let's say, Mercy, you, you know, you, you want to create your own personal collection, Merlot allows you to do that too. So, um, and, um, and uh, actually maybe Veronica, stop yeah. sharing and, and then, and then I'll, I'll show you what, how, how, um, how I can do that too. Yeah. Sounds good. Cause I realized that we're almost out of time too. Sorry. You, you, you got okay. it. Yep. And I'll just say here. So, you know, I've been around a while, so I've collected about a bunch of stuff. So I have what we call bookmark collections and, um, so if I want to, um, here's something in software engineering. So I've created my own little collection of software engineering um, materials that are available. And, um, and so your members can, of the, can take the materials out of the collection of the lead bio collection and create their own. And if you like it, you can copy it, right? Members in Merlot can copy each other's collection there. So, so just th this was kind of the overview of what you can do in Merlot uh, for what for this project. And so, I, I hope that was useful. And I saw it's ten o'clock, so I'll stop there. What will we be getting into in the next um, training? Just out of curiosity. Well, the, the next one, what I would like to do is 
have have all of you be members in Merlot already and have you actually add materials to the process. So instead of just watching, you actually do it because guess what? You're going to bump up to say, oh, what about this? Oh, I didn't think about that. So so when you're done with that, you'll be ready to go and just start, you know, putting stuff in the collection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, be sure to to bring some uh, items to upload <laughs> to have those finalized. Thank so you. So just right. out of curiosity, um, Veronica, because you just showed your page, that's not the page that you are using. I guess because my now I'm getting a little bit confused. W will we be creating an actual like lead bio logo and theme and not access? Because I think that's like that's confusing for me and I'm a part of the a project. Right, right. I would have to, I would, I would use the same design that I did for, but I would replace it with the lead bio logo. Okay. So you can just copy that, right? Make a copy, replace the logos, and you're ready to go. You're ready to start adding materials. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I know we're, we're a minute over. I hope this was helpful and um, we'll see you in a few weeks. And, and I'll, I'll send you know what you need to do to get prepared for the next one, just a little reminders, okay? And if you have questions in between, holler at us, we're here. Yep. Sounds good, thank you. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.